So this is the crucial part here. Listing status, send listing details. Make sure you select publish listing details instead of offers only. Hey guys, many of you might have faced the issue listing the products from Shopify to Amazon. And if you want to learn how to list directly from Shopify to Amazon, this video will solve your problem. I received the comment from Animvoyage. Can you please make a video on how to list on Amazon through Marketplace Connect? So we're going to use the app called Marketplace Connect. In this video, it's good to start with free app, right? So now we are on the Shopify admin dashboard here. Now, before I start this video, I'll let you know a few things. So you can only list and sell the products from Shopify to Amazon directly if you have Amazon professional account. So if you have an individual account, which only cost you when you sell the product on Amazon, then this way doesn't work. You must require professional account, which will cost you depends on which country you are. But in Australia, it's $49.95 per month. So once you sign up to professional account, simply you go to your Shopify admin dashboard here and then you go to connect marketplace and you just follow the steps. You simply click on add Amazon connection. And once you follow the steps, your Amazon account will be connected straight away. Now there are two methods to connect your existing Shopify products and sell it to Amazon. But another issue with Amazon is you must require EAN or UPC or barcodes for your each and every products you want to sell to Amazon. And that's another hassle Amazon creates. Amazon have a lot of boundaries and a lot of issues in comparison to eBay marketplace and other marketplaces, which allows you to sell your products very easily. But again, it's worth selling on additional platform because Amazon is a giant marketplace and you must take advantage of it. So in order to resolve that issue, you can buy the barcodes in bulk. Simply go to Barcode Mania or similar websites where you can purchase barcodes in bulk for cheap. So personally myself, I purchase barcodes from Barcode Mania, but you must explore other ways as well on Google. And if you find any cheaper websites where you can purchase cheap barcodes than Barcode Mania, please leave the comment in the comment box below because I also want to know if I can purchase from somewhere else which works on Amazon for cheap. Now, once you have the barcodes handy, in my case, I usually purchase in 100 barcodes. But in your case, you can start with 1, 2, 5 or 10 products, barcodes or whatever. Once you have the barcodes handy, you can go to your products listing. So something like this. And if your listing has variations, more than one, then what you have to do is go to each and every variation and add independent barcodes here so barcode for one variation here color or size whatever and then second variation barcode is different so you must have individual barcodes which are separate from one another if you are adding each variations to your amazon listing so be mindful on that just imagine size m one barcode size l another barcode different barcode size XL, another barcode, different barcode. And once you add it, you save the changes. Now you add it into the product now. So it's ready to list. First method is add the listing individually on Amazon and then connect it to your Shopify from the marketplace app. You simply go to your Amazon seller central account. And then here you simply add a new product here and follow the steps, add the images, title, description, bullet points, etc. And once you create the product on the Amazon, once it's live, something like this one, just imagine if I open the product, it, it is live, you can see and it's listed now. So what you have to do is if you have existing products which are listed or you already created the products using the Amazon Seller Central. So for an example, if I have already added this product, if I go to edit, simply click on edit. And if I check that particular product, you see here it shows the UPC code here. Make sure this UPC code you just copy and paste that UPC code to the relevant product to your product list on Shopify. Same way like I showed you here. If you go and add here to the same product. Once you have that product barcode added to your Shopify for the existing product I'm talking about. So this is the first method. Once 
those products barcode has been added what you have to do is go to marketplace connect app and if you don't have this app downloaded make sure you go to shopify app store and download this app once you connect to the amazon marketplace your store will be registered here simply go down and go to settings here and you will see your store name here on the right hand side you can see this link listing options so if you have added the same barcode as your existing listing on Amazon it will start showing up here matched by SKU and GTIN and it will show you the number of listings which are matching in my case because I already connected all those existing listings it's showing zero listings but just imagine this is the matched by SKU listing so if I click on that it will show you something like this one so it will show you on the left hand side Amazon listing and right hand side Shopify product which are matching to your Amazon listing. So you just have to double check and then confirm match if it's the correct one. You simply click on confirm match and then click approve. That way your existing listing on Shopify will be connected to your existing listing on the Amazon itself. Now once it's done what you have to do is you have to connect all the listings which are already existing in the Amazon Seller Central. Once it's done you can start updating the quantities or product prices and it will immediately affect the same thing to your Amazon listings as well. Second method is how to list the product in bulk to the Amazon where the products are not exist in your Amazon Seller Central. So in this method what you have to do is make sure let me clear out all the filters now make sure you go to the listing section here under the listing section make sure your amazon store is selected go to right hand side and you want to go and walk by the collections that will make your life easier don't go in bulk go by collection bulk so here collection and then just imagine i want to again take the same example in ear monitor earphones so i select that and then apply and then done so now i have in ear monitor earphones all of these products has the barcode updated individually simply select all and then make sure you select enabled then update then go right select your price percentage increase maybe i go with only five percent and go to nearest 95 or maybe 99 update go right go to max quantity to only two go further right update inventory locations all then i select whether this listing is the fulfilled by merchant or amazon in, in your case it could be depends it could be whichever it is you just select that but in most cases it would be fulfilled by merchant so select that and then update once you do that go for the right here dangerous goods regulations depends on your product select the relevant option in my case it's not applicable but in your case could be different now dispatch time could be one day two days or three days depends on your business profile just select dispatch time in my case it's one day so update country of origin in my case could be australia so i just update conditions i'm selling is new update condition description if you want to write you can write but you don't need to so this is the crucial part here listing status send listing details make sure you select publish listing details instead of offers only then that way you will list these particular products you selected and publish them directly from here to your amazon so once you select publish listing details that means your photos, titles, description, and all the other information, including the price and the quantity will be listed from here to Amazon. Once you do so, simply select update. Once it's done, the second crucial part is here, category. So make sure you select the correct category, otherwise your product will not be listed. So you search for, in my case, it's earphones, but in your case could be different. So I select headphone earphones category and then save. So that means the categories are selected now. Now I go for the right, you can select Amazon title. So do not edit the Amazon title in bulk because you have selected a lot of different products. You can go one by one for each product. If you want to assign different Amazon product title, then the Shopify title but in your case if you want to keep the same then do not touch it simply go right like the description if you want to go separate description then the existing product description on Shopify but in my case I will keep 
and synchronize the exact same description of Shopify so I will not touch this part manufacturer you can write the name of the manufacturer in my case could be my own company name so I will write that in your case could be different so simply write the manufacturer name here and you also have to fill out all these information as well like battery required yes no battery included yes no and all and if you go further right there would be bullet points option so I would say because you are editing in bulk and you are publishing the listings in bulk do not fill out the bullet points from here directly because it will affect all of your listings but once you publish the listings make sure you go individual products and fill out the bullet points for these individual products once it's done go right and that's it so all the information has been filled out as i mentioned do not worry about the bullet points in the beginning it can be published without bullet points as well but bullet points comes handy and make your listing more optimized and visible now once everything is done simply click save and this will start listing the product to your amazon seller central account directly from here so that's how you can publish the products in bulk as well as you can connect the product individually if you have existing products on amazon if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to comment me in comment box below and i would love to answer them until next time do not forget to subscribe this channel if you haven't yet and thumbs up to this video if you liked it i will see you soon take care bye bye